Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Weapons of H3 VR. So today, we are going to take a look at this rifle, the Russian SVT-40. Of course, not the first rifle in the SVT series. It's uh, This one replaces the SVT-38 which saw action in... Uh, I knew I forgot something. Well, well, I do this. It saw action in the Russian Finnish War, in the Winter War, where of course the Russians uh, didn't win, embarrassingly enough. There, that should be enough. And uh, there were some problems with the SVT 38, so they updated it to the SVT 40, fixed some things. Uh, it's a gas operated uh, rifle, magazine fed, as you can see, has a 10 round magazine. Already have a round in the chamber. Has the typical ish Russian sight, just a notch, can be a bit hard to see. Let's shoot 10 rounds into the target. Safety off. It has a safety as well. Simple to reload. Of course, it being a World War II era rifle. Also has stripper clips, as uh, actually most, I guess most semi-automatic rifles support stripper clips. I think so. So this wasn't actually that successful of a rifle. It was supposed to replace the the Moist and the Gant, but it actually failed because Hitler came in and ruined things a bit. And uh, during the war, the Russians found out they prefer building the most in the gun because it's easier to build, as well as the PPSH-41. And the Russians also started to move more into favor of using submachine guns in general, actually having entire rifle divisions, funnily enough, armed with submachine guns. It also comes with a scope, as you can see. Let's shoot some on target. This guy, it's uh, nothing fancy, but gets its job done. Just my shooting shit. You can actually load with stripper clips while the scope is in, barely. As you can see, there isn't that much of a difference. Or a distance, I mean. Close that, remove the scope. Let's fire uh, 10 shots without the scope. There is quite some recoil on this rifle as well. Of course, being a 762550 something. This cartridge is least. Can I manually put it in? No, I can't. It would be a cool feature to have. But yeah, used in in H3 VR so far. It's only in the SVT, but I think. I can't think of any- oh, no, does the Dragunov use this? Maybe, I can't remember. But... Russian guard. Ooh. Russian cartridge, quite a bit of recoil. So, of course, I do enjoy this gun. I did good idea. Better with scope, of course. So yeah, that was the SVT-40. Wasn't as successful as it should have been. I think it was introduced in uh, 41. In 45, production was entirely seized. Was of course replaced by the SKS and the AK-47 and AKM and all of those guns. Assault rifles, they were the future after all. And are the present. So, hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!